Wow, looks like things are getting crazy in the world. There goes your World War 3 news. We have a fire that started in Rostov after a Ukrainian drone attack. And apparently this fire has been going on for four days now. I got multiple different angles of this video, but anyways, watch this. Yeah, I know, crazy, right? Here's another angle of the fire. You can see a, a little more bright in the night sky. Here's another view too. Listen to this. Here's a video of an airstrike that Israel did on Hezbollah yesterday. And yeah, they do show different angles. See, here go the other one. They also did 10 of them today, and this is a video of a person running away after one had occurred. Crazy. We have Russia's Putin meet with China's Li as Moscow and Beijing deepen their relations. They also said that Russia and China have developed large-scale plans for economic and other projects and that Russia and Chinese relations are at a unprecedentedly high level. Here's an update on the MI-171 Russian helicopter that landed in North Carolina. Apparently they said it was a United States unit that landed in North Carolina doing army exercises. I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. Here's the one about the Russian oil depot that burned for four days in Russia's Rostov. Pro-government fighters attack areas of U.S.-backed fighters in East Syria too. Two people were killed. A suspected Turkish drone also landed near a U.S. base and caused a wildfire in Syria. Are we about to have NATO allies facing it off? Nah, probably not yet. We have Ukraine adopting a historic law to ban Moscow-linked Orthodox churches. This is because of Russia's invasion on the Ukrainian territory. So Russia's going to be pretty pissed off about this, but they're at war, so what can you say? We have the Iranian armed forces dismissing the reports that their president died due to weather. They are saying that these reports were flawed and invalid. And military experts believe that Ukraine might be planning a bigger hit on Moscow. Saying the largest drone attack on Russia capital is still to come. Yeah, I would not be surprised. Anyways, this is the latest. More news next.